It took Notre Dame staff 23 minutes after the first fire alarm sounded to discover the blaze that went on to cause widespread destruction to the 850-year-old cultural icon. Paris public prosecutor Remy Heights said the cathedral's fire alarms went off twice on Monday evening, beginning at 6.20 p.m., local time. A Paris judicial official, speaking anonymously, said staff checked under the roof after the first alarm and saw nothing, but when the fire was discovered 23 minutes later, after the second alarm, it was already too late to stop the inferno. The official said investigators had now questioned about 30 people, who were mostly employees working on the renovation of the monument. The fire blazed for several hours and damaged the roof, causing the cathedral's large spire to collapse and coming perilously close to destroying the entire building. France's Deputy Interior Minister Laurent Nunez said saving the cathedral came down to a key time frame of between 15 and 30 minutes, praising the work of firefighters who contained the blaze. More than $1 billion has been pledged to the restoration of Notre Dame Cathedral, with French President Emmanuel Macron saying he wanted to see the cathedral rebuilt in five years. Mr. Macron said Notre Dame would be even more beautiful after the restoration, however experts said the staggering amount of cash flung at rebuilding efforts might not be enough to replace what was lost. Perhaps it can't be recreated as it was Notre Dame's heritage director Laurent Prat said the high altar, which was installed in 1989, was hit and harmed by the cathedral's spire when it came crashing down in the flames, but many other relics and structures had been saved. All the 18th century steles, the pietas, frescoes, chapels and the big organ are fine, he said. Video, a timeline of the Notre Dame fire, ABC News, Mr. Pratt added the three large stained glass rose windows had not been destroyed, though they may have been damaged by the heat and will be assessed by an expert. However, there are concerns that even the $1 billion pledged so far may not be able to replace what was lost in the blaze, it also depends on the availability of materials. Professor Peter McPhee, a specialist in French history at the University of Melbourne, said he feared that the sheer heat of that fire may have chemically compromised some of the masonry in the historic building. Likewise, the centuries-old timber within the building's internal structure, much of which was crafted into an intricate support structure by medieval artisans, may be irreplaceable. One of the extraordinary things about Notre Dame was that an estimated 13,000 trees had been felled to create this delicate timber infrastructure, he said. Those trees had been saplings in the 10th century, they were mature trees by the 12th century when they were felled. They're the beams that caught fire and then brought the lead roof down with them. Is it possible to recreate that kind of medieval artisan work with timber on that scale? Or in fact is that the great compromise you'd make?
He said there was a huge debate in Europe around the restoration of medieval castles. Certainly heritage architects argue that the most important thing to do is stabilize and where necessary use modern materials to make them safe, Professor McPhee said. You might say, well it's not actually recreating Notre Dame as it was. But perhaps it can't be recreated as it was. Prayers for an icon hopes for a rebuild of the iconic cathedral are strong among Parisians the ABC spoke with. With the beloved cathedral partially in ruins, tens of thousands line the Seine to observe the historic moment, a masterpiece of Gothic architecture forever changed. Sister Madeleine, a Dominican nun from Paris, was visibly upset when she arrived to inspect Notre Dame, a day after the blaze. It's a very deep sadness. The spire, is what we saw from a distance in Paris, she told the ABC. I hope we'll be able to rebuild. Parisian Beatrice Champatier arrived to lay flowers, it was the least she could do, she said, for a building that is our life. Read more about Notre Dame and the devastating fire The Arrow Has Fallen, an Australian's unique account of the Notre Dame tragedy How a medieval design trick helped save Notre Dame from perishing completely Crown of Thorns saved from Notre Dame fire by human chain video, bystanders in the French capital capture the moment the spire collapses Incredible photos show the extent of the damage to the historic building Australian newlyweds took photos inside Notre Dame hours before the fire started Take a look at what the Gothic cathedral looked like before the fire The history behind the famous Parisian landmark The Friends of Notre Dame, a society founded to foster the preservation of the cathedral, had long held concerns of the structural integrity of Notre Dame. One of the group's members, Ron Ivey, said he was heartbroken. One of the most moving things was to see all the French people who were there that were singing French hymns and songs, it was deeply moving, he said. The people, the spirit of the people, is going to help rebuild this building. ABC Wires